know, I used to study Dean. I tried to figure out what technique he was using to look so relaxed and natural. Actually, he was genuinely relaxed and natural. And he was a great listener, so the unexpected never threw him. Not even when Goldie Horn started delving into philosophy. This was a first meeting for Dean and Goldie, and there was instant chemistry. I was there. It didn't take Goldie long to get Dean involved in a very deep, deep discussion. What? Oh, it's just wonderful having you on my show. I've always wanted to get to know you and find out what you're really like. Oh. Yeah, because whenever I watch you on... <laughs> I watch you on television, you're always pretending to be so dumb. You know what I mean? Yeah, I'm not pretending. I really am dumb. You yeah. are? Yeah, I am. You know, and what's more, I'm proud of it. Dumb is beautiful. <laughs> You're proud of being dumb? That's right. Mm. I mean, now, did you ever stop and think, who are all the people that cause all the trouble in the world? I give up who? The smart people. The smart people. <laughs> That's right. And who are the scientists and the statesmen and the generals who run all the government, make all the wars, and um, the dumb people? <laughs> no, the smart people. Okay, that's, that's right. right. Sure. And another question. Look at air pollution. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I mean, who invented the cars and the machines that cause all that? The smart people. The smart people. Yes. Yes. <laughs> and what's the major problem confronting today, confronting our universities in like, uh... <laughs> the smart people. That's right. That's it. You know, I never thought of that. That's because you're dumb like me. <laughs> She's so right. Yeah, that's right. Yes, and, 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 and then, then there's the overpopulation crisis. Well, now, you just wait a minute and hold on there, Goldie. Mm -hmm. You can't blame that on the smart people. I mean, dumb people have just as many babies. Yeah, but they can't count them. I know that. <laughs> I'm with you, Goldie, but what can we dumb people do about this well, thing? Well, now, this is the question we all have to stick together. <laughs> yes. I've said that before, yes. didn't I? <laughs> Probably when I heard it. Go ahead. In fact, you just formed a national organization. Organization? <laughs> yes. Hey, why did you cheer up? <laughs> it's called the DDA. The DDA? Dumb Dumbs of America. Oh. Yeah, it costs $5,000 to join, and we never have any meetings. <laughs> <laughs> you don't get membership... Mem <laughs> no membership? It's again? <laughs> Membership privileges, you don't even get a membership card. Well, gee whiz, a person would have to be real dumb to join an organization like that. Exactly. That's how we weed out all the undesirables. What did you say? I said, that's how we weed out all the undesirables. You said that just the same as you did the first time. <laughs> and that ain't being too dumb. Well, doesn't your organization have uh, any activities at all? Yes, we uh, put, we went and did a... <laughs> <laughs> you went and pulled what? A dumb dumb march. A dumb people's march on Washington. And what well, happened? Well, we got lost. You got lost? Oh. <laughs> oh. Uh, is there any possible way that uh, you can join an organization? Yeah, like that. It's not... <laughs> <laughs> like that? It's not easy. You see, there's an initiation test. Oh. And yeah, and, and you have to get under 30 to pass. You have to have under 30 to pass? Well, what kind of test is it? Well, let me show you. Can we have a dictionary, please? <laughs> <laughs> it's another dummy that threw it in, I'll tell you. That. All right, now, how's this thing go? What do, what do you do? Well, you look in there, you pick out some words, and I'll tell you what they mean. Oh, all right. All right. Okay, here we go. Uh, appreciate. Appreciate. Um... That's like last year what you lost on your car. Oh. <laughs> Posterity? Posterity. That's what you're sitting on wherever you are. <laughs> Familiarize. <laughs> Familiarize. Uh, that's like when you're getting fresh with a chicky boom boom. A <laughs> chicky boom boom. <laughs> oh, all right. Uh, subterfuge. He goes in the game to kick. Well, who's in the game to kick? Yeah, well. Well, hot diggity dirt. I didn't know that. <laughs> All right, to correspond. To correspond. When you make two people get a divorce. In Providence. In Providence. That's a city in Rhode Island, of course. Euphonious. Euphonious. That's some instruments Hungarians pick. An 
antidote. If your poison take it quick. <laughs> a word, word a day. day. A word a day. Like resume. Yes. That's, that's how, how we, we keep our fancy IQ. A word a day. A word a day. Like cheese souffle. Oh, ah, matinee. Oh, cheese souffle. <laughs> From Park, Park Avenue. Avenue to under eight. To under eight. That's a word and sure when salesmen use most. What's tantamount? Tantamount. That's a company that is here on the coast, a picture company on the coast. Disseminate. Disseminate. That's a fellow with the feminine point of view. You! <laughs> but kaleidoscope. Kaleidoscope. Thank you.